Um, the question is, explain the process of enforcing residential property maintenance. Why doesn't the city impose more severe penalties to homeowners whose properties lack proper maintenance? So property maintenance requirements um, are based on the city's adoption of the Virginia Uniform Statewide Building Code, and it dictates the property maintenance um, regulations that we apply across the board. And the main purpose of property maintenance is to provide the, or maintaining the condition of the structure, keeping it safe, and preventing it from deteriorating. The majority of the concerns that we receive come in through citizens directly or online through our um, reporting website or link. And when we get them, we dispatch an inspector out to the area to check immediately to see if there's any property maintenance concerns. Different property maintenance concerns have different lengths of time associated with inspection and then reinspection. So if we're dispatched to a property for, we'll say, tall grass over 10 inches, the inspector will go back to the property in 10 days to reinspect for compliance. Now, if on the other hand, we have a matter where there's a rotting fence post or another uh, structural problem, we may grant 30 days before we reinspect the property and go back to see if the owner has come into compliance. This can make it seem as though there's different levels of time for different things, but we try to base it on how long it would take the citizen to correct the problem. So, Property maintenance is a balance between safety and private property. Some property owners believe that we're too strict, while others think that we may be too lax in our enforcement. Additionally, we like to work with our citizens and help them achieve compliance. We're not trying to uh, penalize them uh, only, but more so help them get where they need to be for property maintenance um, resolution. So in some cases, we try to connect people with resources in the community so that they can um, correct the violation in a timely manner. And in other cases, when we see that progress is being made, we can grant extensions for them to continue to achieve compliance. So the process can seem long or drawn out, but we really try to work with our uh, community to uh, achieve compliance. So alternatively, some matters that may be considered eyesores in the community aren't necessarily property maintenance violations. So if, we'll say, a neighbor has some unsightly lawn furniture out back that's been left in the weather for decades and uh, just really doesn't look good, that doesn't necessarily qualify as a property maintenance violation. Uh, alternatively, say they have these large bushes in the front yard that aren't well kept. Again, it doesn't look pretty, but it's not necessarily a property maintenance violation. So in enforcement, uh, once we have cited the property, once we have reinspected, if it still does not come into compliance, the next step is a summons to court. Now, this can be a lengthy process, unfortunately, because if the property owner in particular is elusive, the sheriff can have trouble serving the summons. Additionally, if it makes it to court and the um, judge deems that they don't find the violation to be um, of any merit or enough merit, then they can dismiss it and we would have to start the entire notice of violation process over. So there's many factors that can contribute to a lengthy property maintenance violation or property maintenance concern and there are much or many ways that we try to educate our citizens on what does and doesn't constitute a property maintenance violation. Ultimately, we try to make sure that our inspectors communicate with property owners and any neighbors that may have concerns, and our supervisors are also um, at the building willing to talk to anybody about the length of time for enforcement and where we are in the process. Um, so that, in essence, covers why property maintenance violations can seem to uh, take a while, but we are trying to work with the community and make it a great place for everybody.